everybody in YouTube land. This is Sue at Sue Slims Down. I am on my way to Winco. I've got like a $20 budget <laughs> to buy some groceries. So I'm going to go pick up some chicken and some veggies. Come home and make some dinner with real food. <laughs> I'm thinking about doing some street tacos. I have a few cans of the fat-free refried beans in the cupboard that I found. I'm gonna I think open up a can of those and and uh, make tacos for my daughter and I. And I think I'm gonna pick up a head of cabbage and maybe make a quick slaw to go with that, and that'll be dinner. Gonna, um, I'm gonna cook this the chicken in my instant pot and then shred it and then you know use it up as I go like I did before I want to tell you I got about a week's worth of meals out of that shredded chicken so I think that's my plan right now we'll see what Winco has to offer when I get there but I have been finding that I can chop shop cheaper or less expensively at Winco than I can't even at Walmart or Safeway. So that is why I am going to Winco. And then I'm going to swing by the campus and pick my daughter up from school. She's been, well, she had a class this morning and then she's a research assistant also and uh, she's working on her PhD. So She's been working in her office and had meetings with her students all, all day, so I'm going to swing by and pick her up on my way back. And then we're getting going. To tell you the truth, I haven't accomplished much of anything today other than I did fill out an application for another place. This is a trailer park which is advertised as a senior village. So I sent my application in there. I know they already ran my credit, which I told them up front was in the shitter. So we'll see how that goes. I'm not expecting anything really positive out of it, although I can always hope. But uh, I did that today and... Uh, was answering emails today, got some communication from my attorney, which was frustrating as usual. And I want to tell you right now, I wouldn't wish my current circumstances on my worst enemy. It's just every day is a new thing. And I could get really down and uh, start eating everything in sight because I'm frustrated and I'm angry. I'm angry at myself. I'm angry at my husband for getting us into some of these situations. And I'm angry at myself for letting myself be talked into some of those situations by my husband. But it's coming back to bite me in the butt now. Which is the hold up on me getting a place because my credit is so bad. So just hoping I'm going to find the right person that has, will have mercy on me and... Or God will speak to them and say, you know, this poor woman needs your help. <laughs> I haven't found that person yet. I'm still waiting on to hear this about this place across from my sister, which is a private owner. And I really think that's the route I need to go. In the meantime, I'm still trying to cover my bases. And uh, it's, it's just a frustrating situation. I never thought I would be here. In this situation and uh, I sure never want to be here again matter of fact I was having this conversation with my daughter last night that there's a list of things that I have that I will never allow to happen in my life again and 
the situation as a whole is one of them, but then it's broken down into many, many parts. <laughs> so, I keep thinking once I get back home and I'm back in the area and I can meet these people face to face and, you know, kind of talk to them face to face about what has happened in my life. Maybe things will be different and maybe not, you know. I don't know. I keep, I, you know, I still know, and this is the thing about my face. I still know that God has his hand on my life and that he's got a plan for me for the rest of my days. Uh, and I am just in a search now to find out what that is. I'm just seeking the Lord's guidance on what I should do, where I should be, asking Him to put the right people in my path. So, it hasn't happened yet, but everything's in God's timing. You know, as humans, we just, we always want to hurry up. We have no patience, and I'm right there. I don't have any patience left. So, I want to tell you, I look terrible today. I didn't feel like putting on makeup or anything today. So, my intention was to clean the house a little bit, and that didn't happen. I got on the computer, and I started, you know, answering these emails, and, you know, talking. And my son in Oklahoma is having some medical issues that trying to get those resolved over the phone is, you know, that's not a good situation either. And he's bullheaded. <laughs> so, that's been weighing on my mind today. Getting ready to do this collab about the one bag, five dinners collab. I think I might take care of that today. I'll get my one bag. I'm going to be back later today with this video to tell you what I ate and also to show you what I bought. So uh, I'm going to let you go now. I'm getting ready to park and go into Winco. And we'll see what we can find for 20 bucks or under. I'll talk to you later. My breakfast today on this Wednesday morning is uh, 95 grams for my orange, zero points. I have one egg and two egg whites, zero points. Uh, I have a quarter of a whole grain bagel from Panera. Um, we picked those up yesterday when we were in Spokane. The bagel is, uh, the quarter of the bagel is two points. And I have it topped with one tablespoon or 14 grams of uh, the one-third less fat Philadelphia cream cheese. That's also two points. And then I'm on my second cup of coffee now. So I have uh, two points for my both cups of coffee. I have two tablespoons of fat-free half and half in each of them. So breakfast today is six points total. Okay, just put my groceries away and I'm a little hungry. It's getting really close to dinner time. I've got the chicken in the crock pot or in the instant pot. So I decided to have a quick light lunch. I'm having a some more Quest bar uh, for four points. And my apple is 161 grams for zero points. I'm having a big glass of water with it. So my lunch today is four points. Okay, this is my dinner tonight. And this is the first dinner that I'm presenting for the collab. So, it's collab, <laughs> not collab. I have um, just some cabbage slaw here, a quick slaw that I made with just some vinegar and um, salt and pepper and some celery seeds. So that's zero points. I have three ounces of shredded chicken for zero points. I mixed it with one teaspoon of the uh, low sodium McCormick taco seasoning, and that's one point. I have uh, half a cup of uh, no fat refried beans, which is zero points. Um, 28 grams or a quarter cup of fat free cheddar cheese, which is zero points. Couple jalapeno slices, zero points, and two tablespoons of the paste chunky salsa, which is also zero points. So this dinner plate is one point. Okay, well, first of all, I want to tell you that I really screwed up supper, didn't I? Um, 
when I went and started writing everything down, because you know I put it in the app and then I then I write it down. When I did my video, I told you that those refried beans were zero points. And for this particular brand, and I don't know if this is correct or not, but this is the Rosario um, fat-free, no fat, uh, traditional refried beans. It came up as one half cup for three points instead of the zero points that I told you. And I also told you that the seasoning packet for one teaspoon was one point, and uh, in the app it says it's zero points. So my dinner was three points altogether uh, because of those refried beans. So for the day, I'm up to 13 points, which is okay. 849.2 calories, which is pretty low for calories, but uh, I don't, I'm not hungry. I'm not going to eat anymore tonight. I'm going to have some more water, but uh, I'm really not hungry. And it's, uh, I don't know what time it is even. It's almost 8 o'clock. So I got my dinner done before 7, which is what my goal is. And I'm uh, very happy about that. So uh, I don't remember if I told you my weight today, but it was 220.5. So my weigh-in is in the morning. I'm kind of really happy that we did not go to the baseball game tonight because I know I would have had to have a stadium hot dog and I didn't want that temptation. So 220.5 is where I'm at right now. I don't know if I'll make it down to the teens tomorrow or not. It sure would be nice to see that 219. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I was real careful with my sodium intake today and... Uh, I think I've had enough fat. I mean, I had that uh, bagel this morning with the cream cheese on it. And the cream cheese had the reduced fat. And then, uh, what else did I have that I thought might have fat in it? Oh, that Quest Bar has uh, fat in it too. So I think I'm okay with the fat. I didn't put an avocado on my dinner tonight, which I thought about doing. And that, yeah, I'm just going to hold off and <laughs> we'll see what happens. But um, anyway, I'm anxious to see what the scale is going to say tomorrow. Boy, it took me a long time to get to say I can't wait to weigh in. But uh, yeah, I'm anxious. I'm really hoping to get down into the teens. If I don't make it tomorrow, I will be there by next week for my weigh in. Um, I was looking back at some of, of my chronology. The lowest weight I ever had was back in May of 2017 and I am 0.5 pounds away from that in two years <laughs> two years ago on May 17th I weighed 220 even and uh, yeah I just thought that was interesting two years I've been bouncing back and forth and this you know I've been bouncing back and forth in the next last 25 pounds you know so, um, matter of fact, when I went home in uh, end of September this past year, I was just telling my daughter, I looked. Since then, I have lost um, almost 22 pounds. So, I'm on the right track. I just am not as far along as what I had hoped to be. To date, I've lost 21% of my starting body weight. So... I am making progress. It's slow progress, but, you know, as long as it's forward progress. Uh, but it just boggles my mind how I played around with those pounds, you know. I gained, after my husband died and my son died, I gained 25 pounds. So, I mean, I'm glad I caught it. I'm glad I reined it in before I was way back up to 277.8. So, uh... Yeah, I don't ever want that to happen again. So I've got, uh, oh, where is it? Here we go. I've got 20.6 pounds to go to Wonderland. That'll take me to 199.9. And I don't care. Wonderland is Wonderland, even if it's by one-tenth of a point of a pound. Um, so I'm doing some meal prepping today. I... 
shredded a couple chickens. I'm going to use that again to um, make several meals. I'm uh, doing a collab with uh, several other people uh, of one bag and uh, five meals. So I, I'm prepping, I already prepped the chicken breast. I've got that all shredded and put in a bag in the refrigerator. Uh, the meal I had tonight will be one, one of the meals I share on, on the collab. And then uh, I've got, what do I have in there now? Oh, in the Instant Pot now I've got dried, I put some beans in there. I would rather prepare my own beans in the Instant Pot because I don't, even though the can says, you know, nothing else added, you just never know. And this way I know there's nothing else added. So I know all I'm getting is beans no matter what I do with them. So um, it's, I have a, a, just a little bit more than a pound of beans that I heard that I'm cooking now that I'll use in different meals over the course of the next week. My daughter's leaving on Wednesday, a week from today actually, uh, and she's going to be gone for five or six days. She has to go to Dallas for something. And uh, so I'm kind of planning ahead for that, getting things stocked up so I don't have to be running out to the store a lot, even though the weather's a lot nicer now than the last time she left. <laughs> So, um, but if I have stuff here and I get hungry, then I'm not tempted to order out, which I know I, I have a real hard time with sometimes when she's gone, I was like, oh, I'll just order a pizza. I don't feel like cooking. You know, it's no fun to cook for one. Although I'm finding now I'm more successful when I cook for one. So, uh, I haven't gone out to eat other than yesterday. And I think that has helped a lot. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. I'm uh, prepping a lot of stuff. If I get hungry tonight, I have, you know, pep peppers and cucumbers here I can cut up for a snack. But I don't think so. I'm going to go go and get the dishes done while my beans are cooking. And uh, call it a night. Get the kitchen cleaned up and be ready for the day tomorrow. So hope you guys are having a great day. If you're weighing in, you know tomorrow Friday or Saturday good luck looking forward to seeing what you're doing and I will be back tomorrow with my weigh-in update so stay tuned and come back please like subscribe share ring that notification bell so you know when I've uploaded a video that will uh, help both of us remember this if Tiger Woods can come back and be successful, so can we. If he can do it, we can do it. So keep that in mind as you're going through the next few days. And I will talk to you tomorrow.